Concealment and trickery are required of all soldiers. We sharpshooters must become masters of these things. Here, a German sniper who has skillfully worked his way up moves carefully into position. Suddenly, Bolsheviks turn up. The fever of the hunt, a too rapid movement, and a Bolshevik sniper spots his mark. A hit! Sharpshooters, your training must be careful and precise. Only then will you be superior to our cunning enemy. In the countryside, the sniper must first of all try to take in every detail. Here, for example, he sums up the landscape according to its most noticeable features. A single bush. A grove. Three trees in the foreground. In order to remember the landscape, the sniper must plant this image in his mind. Sehen Sie sich genau den Waldrand an. Es werden Veränderungen vorgenommen. Haben Sie sich alles genau eingeprägt? Alles in Deckung. Alles vorkommen. Drei Veränderungen haben wir vorgenommen. Ganz links jetzt eine Schutzschneise. Der Baum liegt jetzt nach links. Eine Baumkrone im Vordergrund rechts abgebrochen. By comparison, here's how the forest edge looked before. Now, for some finer changes in a meadow, this will require a trained eye. Auf dieser Wiese, drei Veränderungen. Da hinten der Maulwurfshügel war nicht da. Im Vordergrund eine Schleifspur in der Wiese. Vorn der Buchsbaum war nicht da. Buchsbaum wächst nicht auf Wiesen. Spotting such alterations is especially important. Significant conclusions can be drawn from such details. For example, a broken off treetop is never found on the edge of a forest. A sniper notices this and first examines the row of trees. All trees have tops. But this one? Isn't that the top of the pine tree? A Bolshevik is using it for cover. He's spotted and killed. And here, a meadow with average growth. Fällt Ihnen in diesem Gelände etwas auf? Sehen Sie es mal genauer an. Jawohl, geradeaus Sauergräser, die sonst nur auf dumpfigem Boden wachsen. Jetzt bewegen Sie sich. The sniper must notice just such obscure details. 
He must acquire that primitive feeling for nature characteristic of the hunter. Even the slightest changes must be perceived by the sharpshooter. Isn't a bush moving here? Well, make sure. Rise carefully. If it doesn't look the same as at first glance, hang on and keep watching. Such observation requires much patience. But this time, success isn't long in coming. A telescope becomes visible. Immediately, the sharpshooter appraises his observations. Time, place, and type of observation are recorded, along with distances. To remain unseen while observing, the sniper can use a trench mirror. It can be made into a makeshift periscope with a top and camouflage to protect against glare, which could otherwise give one away. Thus is the area watched. Hold the mirror steady. Don't jiggle it. And there's the enemy, clearly visible. From these bushes, a bird suddenly flies up. The cause? An enemy. When a target is recognized, it must be dealt with quickly. Geradeaus, 300, ein auffallender Baum. In der Krone, feindlicher Schütze. Zu wenig. Ein Scharfschütze muss seine Ziele viel genauer bezeichnen. Sehen Sie sich den Baum näher an. Geradeaus, 300, kegelförmige Akazie. Schon besser. In the woods, in a maze of reference points, targets must be quickly identified and dealt with. Geradeaus, 70 Meter, nach links geneigter Baumstamm. Rückwärts Hügel, dahinter ein feindlicher Schütze. Rechts daneben ein dürrer Busch. Sprechen Sie ein Ziel an und führen Sie uns darauf zu. Halb links. Halt! Was war daran falsch? Man darf mir der Hand nie in die Richtung zeigen. Richtig, auch die kleinste Bewegung kann die Stellung verraten. Nearer the enemy, the sniper must move extremely carefully. Avoid loud talking. Signaling should be by sign or animal sounds. The cry of the wild dove attracts no attention in the forest. That means straight ahead, in the birch, up above, a rifleman. Other signs, attention, I must get closer, M, G, P, K, meaning anti-tank gun. P, Z, Panzer, Sniper, 
advance, withdraw. 100, 10, 300. Every sniper team can arrange its own signals. In characterless terrain, a visual sweep makes targeting easier. Here, the same terrain is shown once more. Reference points, half to the right, 80 meters, earthen mounds. To the right, 100 meters, two bushes. Especially important to the sniper is estimating distances. Focon. Neben den allgemeinen Grundsätzen muss der Scharfschütze Feinheiten beim Entfernungsschützen beherrschen. Sehen Sie sich mal diesen Schützen an. Entfernung? 200. 250. Zu kurz geschätzt. 300. Alles kehrt. Entfernung dieses Schützen? 400. 370. Alles falsch. Auch dieser Schütze ist 300 Meter entfernt. Nur weil er kleiner ist, erscheint er weiter weg. Gut war, dass einer einen Zwischenwert gegeben hat. 370. Der Scharfschütze muss auch noch Zwischenwerte angeben lernen. Nicht nur abgerundete Zahlen schätzen. Weiter also. Entfernung bis zu dem Haus. 400. 430. 470. Falsch. Weil man die Dinge im Liegen zu groß sieht, schätzt man zu nah. Entfernung bis zu dem Haus 500. Also, estimating from below up to the top of a tree must be practiced. Usually, it's guessed too far. Looking down from a tree, distances are estimated too closely. The light-sensitive sight of the scope makes accurate shooting in twilight or shadow possible. Estimating in twilight demands much practice. Here, suppose that this is an enemy rifleman. Here are the bearing grid marks of the scope. The enemy rifleman is five lines high. Therefore, according to the formula, the target height equals 1.7 meters. Multiplying this by 1,000 and then dividing by five reveals that the enemy rifleman is 340 meters away. When on defense, in order to become familiar with the terrain before him, the sharpshooter draws a target and distance sketch. This sketch includes all noticeable landmarks from left to right with their ranges. He's then ready to quickly destroy any suddenly appearing targets. The sniper must never be moving around in the terrain. Then he'll never be seen or heard. While on offense, the sharpshooter must perceive at a glance the path that will allow the most stealthy advance. That means glance and glide. Centimeter by centimeter, the sniper must crawl forward. He must always be careful to remain unseen himself while continuing to watch everything around him. So geht das nicht. Kopf immer tief. 
den ganzen Körper förmlich an den Boden pressen, Ellenbogen flach am Körper entlang ziehen, also gleiten, nicht droppen. <lacht> Dafür geht das Hinterteil jetzt hoch beim Tapfelwurm. Na, Sie haben ja jetzt selbst gehört, wie das krachte. Also, nicht gesehen und auch nicht gehört werden. Kopf zu hoch. Das Gras bewegt sich. Gewehr wird falsch getragen. Die natürliche Deckung nicht ausgenutzt. Diese Stelle ist vom Feind eingesehen. Und so wird dieser Weg richtig zurückgelegt. Unter Ausnutzung dieses Grabens bis zu dem Baum. Dann runter durch die Mulde. Therefore, body flat. Elbows not held up. No movement of grass. Natural cover exploited. Down into the shadowy overgrowth of the hollow. And here, away from the position seen by the enemy. That's how a sharpshooter stalks. When crossing a clearing, look for the place where the crossing is most narrow. If possible, in a low spot. The rifleman continues along the opposite edge of the clearing. Always on the watch keeping an eye on the clearing. Here the clearing is narrow, also a little sunken. The sharpshooter uses this advantage and crosses the clearing unseen. Sharpshooters must literally melt into their surroundings. That's wrong. The movement is far too upright. The enemy would have to notice this jiggling bush. Here, one could ask where the sniper he's stalking is. There, something's moving. And here's the explanation. A blind camouflaged with plants that grow in the meadow. Here's what the blind looks like, uncamouflaged, made from wire. The camouflage must always correspond to the terrain. In this way, the rifleman will not be seen by the enemy. There are lots of ways to build blinds. They can usually be improvised with the most ordinary materials. Imagination plays an important role. This camouflage net is designed for observing from a stationary position. 
It's laid over the head and offers total concealment. And here is a camouflage mat that's put on like a coat. And where is the soldier with the mat? The camouflage umbrella is indispensable. Here it's spread open. The camouflage naturally corresponds to the surroundings. And now for the practical application. Five men with umbrellas are working their way forward. And here they are. From the enemy side, unseen. And here are various types of camouflage umbrellas. A little wood, string, and wire is all the soldier needs, and this material is plentiful. Another good camouflage is the so-called Indian bonnet. It's made from a wire frame pulled over the head. Every turn of the head is effectively concealed. Once again, the camouflage is invisible. Even from a few yards away. The camouflage must be as complete as possible. This soldier seems well concealed. but the slightest light spot is visible from a great distance. A little grass suffices to keep him hidden. Or here, despite the rest of the cover, the hands and face shine rather brightly. Smearing with dirt helps somewhat. But not for long, since dirt wears off. Soot works best. Camouflage glasses are good cover. 
Wire can be easily shaped and draped with weeds. so that only the eyes remain free. The helmet net obstructs telescopic shooting. And so does the mosquito net. Watch for little details like the glint of a telescopic lens that can give you away. Slit lens covers made from paper avoid reflection. The use of slit lens covers does not obstruct the telescopic field. When possible, place slit covers over the telescope lens like so. Even when the soldier is well concealed, his weapon can still give him away. This is how a well camouflaged weapon should look. But be careful, keep the muzzle and bolt action free. The skilled soldier wears camouflaged gloves and a mask that he stitched together himself. The camouflage is complete when the soldier literally becomes a part of his surroundings. Who would spot a sniper on the watch in the little grove? This camouflage is only good for observing, not for shooting. And who would suspect a German sharpshooter among this tangle of trunks? <laughs> 